hey guys welcome back to another video on the channel and in this one i want to show you how to build this modular 200 kilowatt power plant using rotary motors from electrical edge mod the startup of this power plant is pretty simple you flick on a button and with that the rotary motors will start supplying the generators with mechanical energy the generators will convert all of that mechanical energy into electricity and that electricity can be then converted into hbm energy as you can see right here now the fuel for this power plant is going to be syn gas and that is going to come from the advanced generators mod link to all of these mods will be down in the description below so syn gas is a renewable resource that means you can hook it up to a tree farm and run it for as long as you like once saturated we are going to get over 100,000 hg per second so without any further ado let's get straight into it Before starting work on the actual power plant, I want to show you the configuration settings that you will need in order to make this power plant work as desired. So the very first setting you will change is the cable power factor. Bump it up to 4, the default value will be 1. You need to do that so that the cables can carry more power in them. Another setting that you will change is the watts to EU ratio which will be 0.5 and watts to RF is 2. The default values are 1 by 3 and 4 by 3. Change them to 0.5 and 2. And with that, you are all set to build this power plant. Now, in order to make the foundation, I am going to use concrete and ducrete bricks. The foundation is going to be 11 by 5 blocks and we are going to have total 5 such modules. So here is one module of 11 by 5. Like stack it up by 4 more times and leave one block gap in the middle. And to make a boundary, leave a 3 block gap and then surround this entire thing using ducrete bricks. Now let's start with the rotary motor. The rotary motor will convert gasoline into mechanical energy but the thing is that you can place the motor directly on the floor. So place one block and then on this block place down the motor as the shaft is one block above from the ground. Now we need to place some generators in order to convert all of that mechanical energy into electricity. So I am going to place five generators in total. To get the power out connect all of the generators using very high voltage cable. Now we need to manage the gasoline input of this rotary engine and in order to do that place down an electrical probe. The electrical probe will give an output signal based on the power that we are transferring and that output signal will go into the rotary engine or the rotary motor. So we want to monitor power. On the top side set the power to 40,000 or 40 kilowatts and on the bottom set it to 41,000. So now as soon as the power level hits over 40,000 the gasoline input shall, will start decreasing. Now right click the electrical probe with a very high voltage wire and it will connect to the entire system that we have. And then take the signal cable and the signal cable will go directly into the rotary motor and will connect like this. So that's the input power set for the rotary motor. Now we also want to control the output of the generators. We don't want to start pulling power as soon as the generator starts spinning. We want the RPM to reach a high enough value. Now in order to achieve that, I am going to use a tachometer. So here is the shaft of the generators or the entire line of generators. Place down a tachometer. Now the tachometer will measure the shaft RPM and we want to set it to 851 on the top and 850 on the bottom. What this means is that as long as the shaft speed is below 850 we are going to pull no power from the generators so that will leave enough time for the generators to spin up if we start pulling power from the very beginning then the engine will stall and will never reach its full potential so now place down a very high voltage relay with its signal facing the tachometer side you can see that the relay is right now open if i close it the contacts will start touching like this and it will transfer power by default, every relay in this mod is going to be normally open and you want to leave it at that. So once you place the very high voltage relay, connect it to the signal cable which is coming from the tachometer. And yeah, we are set. Now to actually get the output power, place down an energy exporter and set the resistance of the energy exporter to 331. And yeah, with that we have made one module. And finally, in order to control the signal or the button for the entire power plant, place down a signal relay like this and then place down a wireless signal receiver and we are going to set the frequency of this receiver to 1. What this will do is allow us to control the entire power plant using a single button. So that's that. Now we have made one rotary engine module. We need to make five total like this. So let's start working on them, right? And for that, 
a very important tool is going to be the config copying tool. If you shift right click with the config copying tool on an electrical component and then right click on another component, you will copy the settings of that component. So in this way, you can very easily like make multiple modules without manually have to write settings for each and every one of them. So basically make five such modules in total and set the resistance values to 331 manually because they can't be overridden using the config copying tool. And once all of that is done, place RF to HE converters on top of each and every energy exporter and connect all of them using connectors and cable drums. You can also use solid cable if you want to. And there we have it. Once the connection is complete, we have made the entire rotary engine set. Now, in order to basically control, as I told you before, entire, the entire power plant, we need to have a signal transmitter. We placed five signal receivers. In order to control them all, we need to have a signal transmitter. So place the transmitter in the middle and then place a signal switch. Now, in order to rotate components in this mode, press down C and then right click to rotate them. Once you rotate it twice, the signal switch will connect to the transmitter and set the frequency to 1. As soon as you do that, you will notice that each and every one of the receiver has now a green light on it. That means that it is successfully connected to a transmitter. Now if I flick this switch on, then the relay will close. From its open position, it will now close and that means the 50 volt output signal that we had is now going into the engine and the engine will start running if we start supplying it with gasoline. Now talking about fuel, we are going to use syngas and for that you are going to need syngas fuel producer, fluid intake and outtake, item importer and also mixing chambers and heating chambers. You need total 20 mixing chambers so place down 10 high tower of mixing chambers and then leave a one block gap and make another 10 high tower. The ratio of heating chambers and mixing chambers is 1 is to 5. So we are going to have 4 heating chambers in total. Now as each, each generator is going to use 64 millibuckets per second, we are going to produce total 400 millibuckets per second so that it is much more than what the entire power plant needs. As soon as you place the fuel import, oh sorry, the fluid import and output and the syngas fuel producer, the entire machine will be converted into a solid multi-block structure. Now for the fuel of this machine, you can use anything which has carbon. So for example, wooden blocks, each and every wooden block will have a carbon value of 400, like blocks of log will have 1600, coal will have more, and then finally we have coal coke which will have 3200 value. Now as you all know, you can make custom assembly templates in nuclear tech mode. So here I have made a very broken fuel setup which will convert all of the scrap into coal coke from rail craft. So if I take some scrap here, it will be converted into coal coke using a custom assembly template. So that will basically serve as an infinite fuel source. And as soon as you have all of the coal coke going inside the item input, input port, also connect some water going into the fluid input port. And with this, with water and fuel in it, heat will start going up. As soon as the heat value reaches 200, we will start producing syngas. Now while that's heating up, connect all of the engines on the top using some fluid ducts. The total fuel input will be like 320 millibuckets per second for five of these. And once we have like we have full syngas, bring out some fuel ducts and connect these fuel ducts to the main fuel line. After some time, you will notice that the fuel line will fill up and now all of the generators have fuel. So if I flick on this button, there we go. Our entire power plant is up and running. And now we wait for the RPM values to go over 850. Because until 850, no power will be pulled from these generators. Slowly reaching there. And here we go. Once the generators have these red lights, it means that the generators are actually supplying power, not only pulling them. So you can verify from the energy storage block that we placed in the front, the value of energy or power will start going up. In order to get the exact values, you can use a universal meter from electrical edge. So we are right now pulling roughly 838 or 39 kilowatt. 
all of these will stabilize at 40 kilowatts so in total we are going to pull 200 kilowatts or when converted to he as we have a 0.5 ratio we are going to get 100 kilo he per second so here you can see power slowly going up and once we reach 100 the values should start stabilizing soon so there we go so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comment section down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can peace out guys stay safe Invincible.